guys, Claire again, and welcome back. So today we're gonna to be talking about quilt encasements, and I am so glad that I did this video after I did the mattress and the pillow encasements because I have learned a lot. To say it's been a steep learning curve is an absolute understatement, but so worthwhile, and I'm so glad that I now have the knowledge that I need to change things in my household to make it healthier for my children. Well, welcome back, and let's get started. Just like the pillow and the mattress encasements, the quilt encasement is designed to seal your quilt or your duvet completely. So the quilt encasement comes in the same fabric as the other two items. This is the Okia Tex 100% cotton with a 2.8 micron pore size. And then this one is the 90 GSM knitted jersey fabric with a waterproof TPU lining. These, these ones have a pore size of less than one micron. Both of these encasements are absolutely ideal in protecting you against allergies, dust mites, bird lice, scabies, or bed bugs. And absolutely essential if you're someone who suffers from asthma or allergies, eczema or rhinitis. The waterproof encasements are completely waterproof and suitable for incontinence, mold spores, and spillages. So being someone who can at times be a little bit skeptical, I wasn't really sure about the 100% waterproof um, claim that was made. So I did do my own test and I'm gonna add a link below so you can check that out. And I was absolutely surprised that not a droplet of water came out of the encasement. It's a really interesting fabric in that it allows vapors to travel through, except water molecules and droplets cannot pass. So if you wanna see that test, which I highly recommend if you're any Anything like me and have any kind of skepticism then I'll add a link below. Both the waterproof and the cotton encasements are available in single, double, queen, king and super king size options. Before I get stuck into anything else I have to say that I love the amount of thought that has gone into the design of these quilt encasements. The first thing I noticed was how the seams were sewn. Being quite handy on a sewing machine myself, I can see the amount of time that's been invested in sewing one of these up. The seams use a what's called an enclosed binding seam or a bound seam. This means an additional piece of fabric is sewn into the seam for additional strength and a complete block out. You will see in the image attached how this is achieved. This is the same style of seam you will find for medical gowns worn in clean rooms. When you open the packaging, you'll find four small black clips, and I was unsure what their use was, but after reading the packaging, I worked out that these would clip the quilt corners in place. How incredible is that? This is a fantastic design, and I wish our other quilt covers were made the exact same way. There is nothing worse than having your quilt bunch around in your quilt cover. These clips simply tie off to the internal four corners of the encasement, clipping off to the corners of your quilt, keeping the corners in place. These worked really well and it was well worth the additional effort. I found that the waterproof quilt encasement was very smooth inside and without these clips installed you could see how your quilt could slide around. The most important thing when installing these clips is that you need to clip these off to the piping edge of your quilt around the outside. If you don't have enough fabric between the teeth, then they will slip off. In the same breath though, you don't want to put too much fabric in the teeth as you risk breaking the clamp. If you do damage the clamp, don't stress. These are classed as consumables and replacements can be purchased for a really small price. After you're all clipped in, zip up the encasement and install your decorative cover over the top. These encasements only need washing once every six to 12 months when you're washing your decorative quilt cover weekly. When you do wash your encasement, be sure to take the quilt and pillows into the laundry, unseal them there, and don't leave the unsealed items on the bed. Like the mattress encasement, you can use a steamer to steam the outside of these, which is just as effective as washing. With the waterproof option, it's critical to dry these both inside and out. Checking that the corners inside are 100% dry before you put these back on your quilt, as it could be possible for mold to eventuate. So after sleeping on both the, the waterproof and the Okeo cotton, um, I do find that both of them are really comfortable. I did find that the waterproof option did hold the body heat a little bit more um, than the cotton option, and I 
believe that's probably because of the finer pore size. I do think that the waterproof encasement will run a little bit warm in the summer months. And I did try this out using a 700 GSM quilt, which is a heavier winter quilt. And after a couple of nights sleep, it was just too hot for me. So I swapped out my winter quilt for my summer quilt, which is around 200 GSM. And I found it far more comfortable as I'm a little bit of a hot sleeper. And once I did swap out the winter for the summer quilt, um, it was a really comfortable sleep. However, the cotton one is just hands down a winner for me. My advice for anyone who's looking to buy a quilt encasement that if you're just looking to protect yourself against bed bugs, allergens, dust mites, scabies and lice then the cotton variation is the perfect fit. However if you do need that waterproofing function then I would highly suggest the waterproof one. In my house we have opted for both the waterproof and the cotton variation. Obviously in our room hands down my choice was the cotton. Um, however in the kids rooms I just just couldn't look past the waterproof function because we have the dogs on and off the beds and you know yourself you can't always be watching what the kids are up to and I just want to protect the quilts from spillages. So with all of our new bedding encasements from Bedbug Wholesale, I can honestly say that the four out of five of us who have suffered from allergies for a really long time have seen a 70 to 90% improvement in those symptoms. And that happened within the, a matter of a couple of sleeps. So if you do have any questions or if you need support, jump on an email or get on the phone and speak to the team at Bedbug Wholesale. I tell you the service and, and knowledge that this team has is really, really impressive. And I'm absolutely delighted that I found these products and I really wish you all the best with your new sleeping regimen and um, thanks for listening.